Hello, dear friends, and thank you for joining me. Sorry Stamping Studio sent me some happy mail to kick off my fall crafting with all and create. And you will find the links to everything in the description box below. So I start this journey with my big dilutions journal in my splat box where I do all my spraying and I have carefully protected the other pages before I start to spray. I'm using two Distress Oxide sprays in squeezed lemonade and spiced marmalade. I don't have a brown Distress spray yet, so I bring in Dilutions Ink Spray in melted chocolate. I spray with water and spray the yellow, the orange and finally the brown. Next I put another paper over my inky page and smoosh them together so nothing goes to waste and I will use the bonus page later on in this video. And here I have my dry background next to the cafe page I did a while ago. So let's stamp a few images from this stamp set that arrived from Sari Stamping Studio and I stamped my bees and their houses in VersaFine Clear Nocturne Ink. I intend to keep this page quite monochromatic, but for the wings on the bees I use the light blue tumbled glass and then I bring out Distress Oxide inks in Vintage Photo and Ground Espresso for the bee house. I start with a lighter Vintage Photo and dilute it with water so my first coat is very light. Then I use a more concentrated vintage photo to mark where I want my shadows. Then I use ground espresso to darken the shadows even more. For the bees I use regular distress ink in mustard seed and spiced marmalade. Next I'm stamping some gorgeous flowers and I'm stamping many in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. To color my flowers, I keep the same colors using mustard seed, spiced marmalade and vintage photo, starting with the yellow and using orange and brown to add dimension. Next, I'm stamping the leaves from the same stamp set, but I stamp them on that extra smushed page from earlier, and I stamp in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I want lots of leaves, so I make sure I use as much of that inky bonus page as I possibly can. Now, you who know me know that I can't leave that background alone, so I bring out that bee stamp set again and choose that grungy beehive pattern. I put that on a stamping block and bring out WOW's clear super fine embossing powder, along with VersaFine clear pine cone ink. This pigment ink dries slow, so it's perfect for heat embossing. But I can't stop there, can I? So I take one of the stencils that Sari Stamping Studio sent me. It has kind of an abstract floral pattern. I use a makeup brush to stencil around the bottom with this Dress Oxide Vintage Photo. When I'm done stenciling, I use the same ink and go around the page, framing it with brown Vintage Photo. And while I have that ink pad out, I use it to darken the edges of my leaves, giving them some texture. And I also drink lots and lots of coffee. It's time to bring this page together, and I start with liquid glue and the leaves 
gluing them down at the bottom of my page. Then I glue down the two bee houses higher up on the page, trying to achieve some depth, like the houses are further away. Next up are all the flowers. I've already cut them out and used a black marker to go around the images, getting rid of those white edges and making them fit in more seamless. I put foam tape behind the big bees and glue them down among the flowers. I also cut out a few mini bees and I glue them down further away near their houses. For a sentiment I stamp protect bees and I color the sentiment strips with the same color combo I used for this whole page. And now this all and create art journal page is finished. And from now on I declare that fall is here and all the fall, Halloween and Christmas crafting can begin, at least in my world. Until the next time, see you soon.